Hi, this is Matthew May with ClassifiedSubmissions.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a dead simple landing page using AWeber.com so you can get started collecting emails right away and building your list. Many times people will use a lot of these fancy services. There are services like ClickFunnels which are great but they're pretty expensive and they've got lots of different templates. It get kind of confusing. This is a way you can come up with a landing page right now. You don't need a hosting account. You don't need to spend a ton of money and you can get going today using aweber.com. And by the way, sometimes the simplest landing pages sell the most. So here we go. This is what you do to set up a simple landing page like this so you can start promoting it and getting opt-ins and sales. First thing you need to do, you need to go to aweber and get an account. You can click the link in the description below. Yes, that is my affiliate link and I will make a small commission, but that's fine, right? That's what we're here for. You come here, you sign up and you can get the one month free version just to get started. So there's no risk here, which is great. You know, we're keeping your cost actually to nothing uh, here. Eventually, once you, once you get going, if you decide to keep it, it'll be $19 a month and it goes up depending on how many subscribers you have. So first, Click the link in the description below, sign up for an AWeber account. Next thing you need to do is come here once you're logged in, click manage lists and click create a list. So once you click create a list, you come here, you put your company name, your website, you're going to have to put an address here for you to fill in. You put the sender name, that's the uh, name that people will see as the from name in the email that you send to them and the sender email. I changed the information here just a little bit for the test. And the next thing you do is you click next step. Then you fill out a name for your list and a little brief description for your list. Then you click, guess what? Next step. Okay, so when people subscribe to your list, they're going to get a confirmation uh, message and people have to click the link in the confirmation message to confirm that they want to be on a part of your list. So it's a two-step process. So this is the confirmation email. You can modify it a little bit if you want. You have a couple different uh, opportunities to do that or you keep it just the way it is. You can come here. You can modify this a little bit and you could modify it all this or just keep it the way it is and then click approve message and create list then what you want to do is come up here to current list and you click find your list and you click on it click it and you will go on and go to that list then come to messages you go to messages and then you go to follow-up series here we are now you can create start creating your follow-up messages you can use an html editor or plain text okay i'm going to use the html editor i'll come here i click here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my first message i'll just call it message one and here you can put in all your text message one click on my link I'm just doing this as a test just to show you but you're gonna put your first sales message that you want people to receive after they subscribe on your newsletter here I'll just put in a hyperlink so I'm showing you how to make a hyperlink in this HTML editor so there we have this hyperlink but you're gonna have your full message here uh, the first message that you want people to receive so once you have your message in, you click save and exit. Now you've got your first message. After people confirm, this is going to be the first message that people receive. Okay, now you want to create another message. I'll do a plain text one. Just to show you, but you, you can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to put message two. This is the title. So I'll put message two. Then if you want something to hyperlink, you have to put the full URL in. So 
So it's not hyperlinked automatically, but in most people's um, email clients, it will be hyperlinked automatically if you type out the full HTTP or HTTPS. So you go save and exit. Now you've got two messages. Now that we have at least two messages, you want to come over here to send options and click add to follow up series. Click add to follow up series. Okay, now you see this message one has been added to your follow up series. Now we're going to go back. We still have message two. We're going to add this to the follow up series. There's various options here, but I'm keeping this real simple here. And now you have a choice. How many days do you want this sent after the previous message? Well, you don't want to send them one day right, day, right after the other. It might be bombarding them. So let's say four days. We want to drip feed these messages every four days. You could do whatever you want. That's kind of what I do. So add to follow up series. And now I have the option to say how many days they will receive this message after the previous message. So let's see what we got here. So now these are our follow up messages. So when people subscribe, they're going to get message one. Then four days later, they're going to get message two. Now, here's the really cool thing is that you can make as many of these messages as, as you want. You could have people getting messages from you for the next year, you know, if for every four days, for the next 365 days, if you want. Now, you're going to have to write in all these messages and save them here. But, you know, sometimes it's good to have at least seven. That'll get you going for a month. That be, would be 28 days. So you see the process here. You know, you just uh, come up here and you go to your follow-up series. And now, once you have your follow-up series, you could create message and you can choose an HTML one or you can choose plain text. And there is even a drop and dra drag and drop email builder. I, I prefer just doing these two. That's what I do. But you can experiment with that if you'd like. So in any case, now we have a list and we have a series of follow-up messages. Of course, I'm not going to just put message one, a message two. I'm going to come up with a really good title that's going to entice people to click. And I'm going to have an actual message here. I'm just doing this as a test to show you so we can do it quickly. Now, uh, what you want to do is create a form. You want to create, you want to create a form like this. Okay. So people can subscribe to your newsletter and then they start getting your follow-up messages message one message two message three as many as you want to put in here spaced out you know, every four days you see send four days after the previous message and then the next one will say send however many days you make it uh, to be sent after the previous message on and on and on so now we need to sign up a form so we come up here to sign up forms Make sure we're with our current list that we're working on. Sign up form. We come over here, create a sign up form. Again, this is a simple way you can get started right away. And they have a bunch of templates up here. You don't have to get too fancy. I like simple. We're going simple. Here, I, let's try this one. And we click load template. All right. Now we got a header. Now this pops up. And I can put some text in here. I could say, join my fabulous newsletter. I will give you free software, a free ebook, a free personal consultation. Whatever you want to give them to entice them to join your newsletter see oh that looks kind of small let me make that a little bigger i highlight it let's just make it a little bigger even a little bigger than that okay even bigger than that let's try this i can make it bold i can center it i can change the font everybody likes ariel so we change it so now i have the header and I save it. Now, here I have uh, my newsletter form. Now, what I want to do, maybe change this a little bit. I could say, download 
a free ebook. There you go. Sometimes it's good to tell them what they're going to get when they click the submit button rather than just submit. So whatever you're giving away, let them know. That's just an extra touch. Click the save, save field, save your form, and we're going to go to the next step. Now, you're going to name the form. You call it your, I'm calling on a, I'm going to call it the classified submissions test form. You call it whatever you want, just so you know what it is. Now, this is the thank you page. You can choose all different versions of a thank you page. Stay on the current page. Have, send them to another page if you want, anywhere. Your Facebook page, uh, your website, whatever you want. Or you could just have them have a, um, standardized basic version thank you page that looks like that your choice again the whole goal of this is to get you going later on you can get fancy now we just want to get you started getting emails already subscribed a page you can just use their basic version advanced settings don't worry about it okay save your form now go to step three Here's what you do. You, if you have a website, you can get the code here to install it on your website, even either, either JavaScript or raw HTML up to you. I've done both, or here's a simple solution. You can use this form as a landing page and they give you a URL right here that you can use that you can use uh, in your promotions. So you can just copy and paste this URL and let's see what happens when I come here and put it into the browser bar. Here, I got a nice little form. Hey, I could have worked on this form a little bit more, but now I have a form that people can actually sign up on and start getting my follow-up messages. Now you're going to put more follow-up messages. You might work on the form a little bit, put some bullet points here, so on and so forth. But here you have a landing page and a form which goes directly to your autoresponder, right? And you can get going now collecting emails. And the reason I'm telling you this is that with our service, the best way that I have found to get uh, the, the best use of it is with an opt-in form like this, a squeeze page. A squeeze page is a page where the whole purpose of the form is just to get the email address because you have a limited time to get people's attention. People really underestimate that. They think people are just going to spend hours and hours on their website. They may later, but first you need to get their attention and get them into your system because what happens once they're in their, in the system? Okay. Here's my follow-up series. Look how many follow-up messages I have. There's 25 follow-up messages there. So that's, if it's four days uh, apart, you know, that's what's that? It's 80, that's a hundred days <laughs> of messages. That's over three months. People will be hearing from you about your wonderful products and services. And every four days, they get a little reminder with more reasons why they should love you and your products and services. Or you can send them to a really complicated website that they will click off and most likely never come back to again, no matter how beautifully it is designed. So the strategy is get the email, get the email right here. We want you to get the email. And now I've shown you a dead simple way to start collecting emails. Are there more sophisticated ways with all kinds of tracking that you can get that will cost you a fortune? Yes. And they're good. I'm not against them at all. But what I want you to do is to actually get started. And you could, if you worked your, worked it right, you could probably make a fortune just off of, <laughs> off a of simple landing pages like that. And if a lot of these higher end marketers are honest with you, they'll tell you that a lot of times it's just the simple things that work. Look at how Google does the design on their page. <laughs> okay. This is the most successful company pretty much on the planet. This is their web design. It's for a reason. It works, you know, a simple form is a beautiful thing and it, there's nothing to confuse them. You know, you got to give them some benefits. You got to tell them why they should give you this personal information. Give them a good reason. Give them some software, give them something special. Think of something, spend some time thinking of something, what you can give them that's different than everyone else to saying, make money, do nothing. Cause everyone's saying that, what can you offer more? 
personal service maybe. So uh, 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 coaching, think about it. How can you differentiate yourself from other people? Make the offer great. And here, listen, once you start paying for Way Weber, that's the only thing you have to pay for here. That's $19.95 a month. If you have more subscribers, it's worth it because you can make money off the subscribers uh, as you build your list. That's how it's going to be. And if you really want to get, you start getting big, you can start doing self-hosting autoresponders like I'm doing. You know, I have many, many different autoresponders. This is just one account that I have, okay? But you're not there yet, most likely, and you need to get started. And action is the most important thing. So go ahead and make yourself a simple landing page and, hey, sign up for classifiedsubmissions.com and do, an, do a bunch of other things to start building your list, building your audience. So I hope this helps you. And I hope this helps you to take action, to get going uh, and just do it. It won't be perfect. Don't worry. Don't worry about being perfect. Just go out there and screw up like the rest of us. <laughs> that's how you do it. You do it, but stop thinking about it and doing it. And that's why I wanted to show you this super simple way just to make a simple landing page. So I really wish you the best of success and you know, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you guys have other ways of making, you know, landing pages that are, that are, uh, you know, even cheaper and quicker, you know, let us know. So, uh, thank you very much. This is Matthew May with classifiedsubmissions.com.